the weakest nation in all of Hearts of Iron 4. Arguably, with the best focus tree for our weak nation. Hmm. Technically, kind of a remake of 30 Minutes of Hell. I know what you're thinking. Why would you put yourself through this again? I hate myself. Secret nation that nobody's talking about. Well, a few people. And here it is. Ethiopia. Or is it? It's this boy. The red boy. The Sultanate of Assar. Mohammed Yayo. Politically powerful. Economically strong. And uh, likes to devour the consumer goods. Oh no. King Carol 2.0. We're gonna have to get rid of him. But also the nation is skilled in desert warfare. Which funny enough these bonuses don't just affect you in desert. They affect you everywhere. And they are some pretty mighty bonuses. Better bonuses in Ethiopia? Yep. Regular. Historical. Prepare for hell again. Start off with four divisions. We'll make a four bar line here. And we have our field marshal, which also is an irregular officer, gaining some bonuses to irregular infantry and movement speed, surprisingly. And this is the division. So these are irregulars. Militia, I suppose. They're cheaper than regular infantry. They perform poorly overall. However, they have got some decent bonuses of certain terrain types, which is very useful in the desert and mountains. So we'll be making loads of these bios. Militia only? Yeah, kind of. From testing these guys. Guys, I've been pretty OP, particularly in Africa. I'll tell you more a little bit later. Let's go. Start off by training one of these bios, just a single one. Producing guns because we can't produce anything else. When it comes down to equipment and guns and stuff, we're going to work on the weaponry immediately. And the national focus is we are going to work on armed forces to get spawned some free divisions. That's right, guys. Look at this focus tree. Look at this focus tree. It actually is pretty damn cool. We've got conquest on the right. We've got, if you're a subject nation in the center, then you've got like industry and military here. And then you've got even more industry on the left. How mad, how mad, how mad are you that this nation that you've never even heard of has a better focus tree than Luxembourg, Finland, or Belgium? How mad are you? Afar armed forces. The world is increasingly unstable as tensions build between the great powers. If we are to retain our independence, the Afar military must be ready for war. We will be 35 day focus. Wow. And that's it, five speed. Oh, let's go. And now we just get to observe the Ethiopian Italian war until the ultimatum is fired. So there might be a strategy where you turn historical off and then Italy doesn't send the ultimatum or picks a different option. And in that case, I guess you could survive for a little bit longer, but eventually Ethiopia or Italy will attack you. So it's for the best that they attack you because you need to train your troops by, uh, well, just holding the desert, I suppose. The FF Armed Forces is complete. Warrior Tradition 3. New divisions. So these two troops in the north are just going to stall while these two in the south have built entrenchment up. I guess we can exercise these guys to level three, actually. And let's do that. A bit late on that, but luckily these irregulars train incredibly quickly. The smaller division, the quicker they train, like four XP, five XP per day. They sent an ultimatum to us. What would we do? Well, we're going to wait for our organization to go up and our entrenchment. Wait a few days. And the bottom option. <gasps> we say no. The Italians have declared war. It is the beginning of the end. One of the biggest issues you can initially run into with this playthrough is your divisions on the front line collapsing. And to get around that, what we need to do is make you a field marshal, which he already is, and then give him organization first. In fact, we can also go for defensive doctrine, actually. Now, we need to promote a general. So we go into our officer corps and promote someone. We need five command power for that. So we're, we're pretty close anyway. So we'll just wait a little while. Right now, our front line troops here are getting dumpstered. So what I'm going to do is just move forward and leave one guy behind just to build a little bit of entrenchment. Move forward, is it enough time? No, the front line has collapsed. And now we are defending on the front. Desperate times, boys. Without a general and a field marshal. No, the field marshal's arrived. Um, Ethiopia would like a non-aggression pack. You know what, I'm just gonna say yes to that. I'm not even sure if it'll make an impact, but we'll see. Anyway, officers, most experienced boyo. Oh, I love that guy's portrait. Isn't he a good boyo? Promote, boom, and general. And off they go. So what we need them to do now is attack us and bay us because we need to build a lot of experience. So if they stop attacking us, your best bet is to exercise up to level three, the ones that aren't level three. All right, warrior traditions done. We've got more divisions now. And then we can go for strengthen the irregulars. Look at these bonuses. 15% extra attack, 10% extra defense, extra speed, and extra org. Whew. These irregulars are getting pretty strong. Same again, I'm going to exercise them to level three. Remember, it's only going to exercise the ones that are two level one or level two. So we'd have to still have got troops on the front line that can defend. But as you can see, they're bashing against us here. And we're getting loads of experience from this. We need XP because we need veteran troops. We need seasoned troops. We need really experienced generals. Defend. Defend. Guns are done. That's right. We've got more advanced guns than the Ethiopians right now. Probably even more advanced guns than the Italians. Ha ha ha. The jokes. 
But we're going to work on support weapons. But I think probably the best time is to work on radio. Just so we can get that reinforce rate. Again, right click. Split off a few troops. Just to push in. Just to exercise a little bit. Just to defend. Don't let their organization drop below 50%. If they do, just hold them in place and stop. Wait them to recoup their troops. And counterattack once again. All right. We've got more than 150 political power now. We are going to hire the communist revolutionary. That's right. Monarchies are a thing of the past. We're going to get rid of you. The rich sultan. Rich? Richness in our society? I think not. Time for a bit of communism. Now, the truth is, communism really doesn't matter. What really matters is that when you go communist, you've got access to an offer of core, which I'll show you later. And it is brutally OP, particularly for minor nations who, funnily enough, I am. Next focus. Strengthen the irregulars. Be aware, if the org drops too low, you might be able to encircle your troops. In that case, you're going to get absolutely demolished. So just be aware of that. 150 political power. We need to get more conscription. The best time to attack is when they're attacking Ethiopian troops. So we select them and then what we're doing is we're pushing into them when they're in the multiple combat penalty. In that case, we'll wait again and they're attacking again. We'll push. And as you can see here, in multiple combats, minus 50% attack and defense. That basically makes the divisions on par with mine now. So we actually have an even combat, even though we're still losing. Oh, no. Next up, we can go with the Sultan of Assad's finest. The Sultan? The Sultan? Will he still be around? Probably not if we go communist. But for today, we do have a Sultan. As you're probably wondering right now, you're like, hang on, Dave, you're getting absolutely battered right now. The guns are low. The manpower is zero. Can you really hold out for very long with this? No. But once again, this is not the full part of the plan yet. We're not there yet, boys. Just wait. We'll get there. All right, next up, we've got a bit of XP. So we can go for defense, which means if they level up, they gain plus one extra defense, which is free XP. So why not? And this boy, oh, oh this guy's ripe for the upgrade. I'm feeling the upgrade. He's coming. It's coming. Fight in the desert. And then we push them back. And if we leave that front line open there as well. <laughs> Oh, the balls are so big. At this point, you're probably thinking, oh my goodness, he's actually winning. What is happening here? This can't be how this is meant to be played. Well, this is only a small part of the plan, okay? There's a lot more to it than this. His finest is here. An extra 10% extra defense. And then utilize our strength. An extra 5% defense. Stack higher and higher. The class conflicts divide the Sultanate of Assar. Ah, classes. They're the problem. School's out, boys. Communism is coming. Oh dear, look at that plane. There's the bombs are coming. So as you can see now, they're concentrating the firepower. Power. We're having to defend in desert and we're getting pushed back. As long as we push back and we've got a little bit of entrenchment here, we'll be do totally fine. All right, next up, we can get a defensive boy, so do it. And also, this guy can become an infantry expert and then we can make him an infantry specialist, which will give us more bonuses. Now, this is the one that's going to make all the difference. Now, we're going to produce our own arms. At this point, we gain more factories than Ethiopia. I told you this focus tree is broken. Let's do it. Ah, oh, the counterattack is so strong. Ethiopia, we are liberating you. Yeah, kind of. Radio is done. Time to work on the small arms again. Free trade for the extra construction and production. I mean, why not? We've got nothing to lose. Ah, let's take out all our resources. A nation who is plentiful in so many resources of... Uh mountain rangers. Ethiopia has capitulated. At this point, it's very, very important. You split off a half of your army and move them here. If you do not secure this, it's over. So get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh, and we secure it. Now at this point, we have to defend. They're going to push into us all the power and all the force. We need to get entrenchment. We need to dig in. We need to wait. Low on guns, low on manpower. Control two provinces. <sighs> Lads, this is desperate times. There we go. They're attacking us. Once again, they have to attack us. Really crucially important they do that. Otherwise, you'll be in a situation when you're not gaining much XP and you need to grind as much XP as possible. Local arms are done. So my advice now is to work on the political side of the focus tree, which is going to give you a lot of war support and give you lots of stability, which will keep you above 50% for both. Otherwise, you're going to get crises and just eat your political power. Not that you're going to be using much political power, but hey, best to be safe than never, right? As they make the push. Once again, we're just baiting them to attack you. I really don't care about winning these battles. Once again, I just want to grind as much XP as I can. There they go. They're attacking us now. We can defend. Defend. There's no air support here, so they're not going to break us. The Zulu charge. Push. Oh, no. Manpower's a problem. Extensive conscription. That's it. Push into me. Attack. Here he is. An infantry specialist. And he's adaptable too. What, Chad? Amazing. And now we can go for the infantry specialist. So much defense all of the time. Oh, that's what I want to see. Look at that lad. A veteran. 75% attack modifier. Almost double damage. Is it time to work on wrenches? Yeah, maybe we should think about industry. After inventing the plow and the spade, we move on to the wrench. This is progress. So you've got the right path, which is working with the allies and trying to build bridges. Oh, bridges. Pfft. 
Forget that. And the left side is to gain loads of war support, attack, and conquest of Ethiopia. Yes! Yes! That's what I want. Oh, that's it. Let's just keep pushing into the mountains. Bash your head against the mountains. Mussolini, what are you thinking? And then we push north into the desert. Can we do this? Yes, we can. Easy. Service by requirement. <laughs> we need manpower so badly. One area to push into is here, because we do have a core on this stake here. So if you push into here, you're going to gain the manpower from it. So it might be a good idea just to try and push into it, grab it really quickly, and then retreat, because then you gain the manpower and you can just bank it. Again? Again! Militia, break them! And how much manpower do we get? 2 Okay. Oh, that's so worth. And immediately it hits zero. Oh, well, we used it anyway. And then you can retreat out of it. Now you gain the manpower that you wanted. And now you can come back here when you've got higher conscription and gain more manpower. This is what you used to do in 30 minutes of hell. It was so broken. After 18 months of combat, I think it might be time to mobilize the economy. So we'll go war economy. And um, we can build a railway from here to here, even though we've got not got any trains. Hey, we're making the best of the tools that we've got, okay? We're going to have to carry everything by horse and cart. Landed here, another 2K manpower. Eat it all up. And we'll go for concentrated industry. Why not? Victory. Or death when you're below 25%. Org, your org will last a little bit longer. Yeah, why not? Oh no, air support. So when you notice air support, so you're going to get cast to death. And you'll notice a lot of the damage they'll do to you is like three or four times higher. So just be aware of it. If you defend your capital lightly, they will break you a lot quicker. Just a nice to know. This guy casually just doing push ups on the front line, baiting Mussolini. <laughs> All right, it's time to open up political discourse. Let's think about the idea of communism. Hmm, is it a good idea? In fact, now what? We hate the government. Boom, government. 46%. Okay, if you get really lucky with this, you're going to get loads of events that are going to pop up that give you more communism. Luckily, I'm not. Oh, and the event just pops up. Ah, oh, how convenient. More communism, less recruitable. Oh, that recruitable's bad. But overall, now we have enough political support. We can go for a referendum and uh, flip to commie. Goodbye, Sultan. No longer rich. The wealth to the workers. Oh, that's it. Push. Attack. Attempt to break me. And now we can go for the referendum. Boom. We are communists. We're now called the Revolutionary Democratic Union of Afar. Why does the country called Afar remind me of Shrek? I don't know why. Someone tell me. And now we can do this. So if we go into the spirit of the army, we can hire ideological loyalty, which gives you 500 manpower per week. This is practical unlimited manpower. This is mad strong for a minor nation. And in this case, we are the perfect, perfect candidate for this. Also, our Sultan, unfortunately, has abdicated. So we're gonna promote you, the boyo. You're now a field marshal. And then top that off as well, we need to get a new general. You will do, Mr. Irregular. You are now promoted and you now. Oh, he's a brilliant strategist. I, I, that's pretty good. And organization first for the field marshal. Now we need to grind this general to get him nice and experienced. Down down here, there is some free divisions we can get. Uh, down here, we gain some claims. Not a big deal. And up here, we can gain a civilian factory. So we're going to go for the extra division. Uh, now, uh, we've got manpower. Uh, so why not train a few? Ooh, pushes back to our capital. Hold, lads, hold. Anyone want to know the difference Italian volunteers make in the Spanish Civil War? None. None at all. Nothing. Modern infantry. Some new divisions. They are pretty big. However, they're using a lot of manpower. So just select them. Convert them to the militia. A military theorist. The theory of fighting in mountains continuously for two and a half years. Yes. I think that theory would pair quite well with uh, superior firepower. <laughs> it doesn't even make sense. More firepower. The desert people who now seem to be based in the mountains have developed weapons more advanced than the Italians. This is well and truly the best timeline. The railway is complete. Oh my god, what a mess. Okay, I guess we make military factories now. The wrench technology has had a breakthrough. So, casualties, you guys are wondering, right? We have lost 51,000 to the Italians. Gasp. Uh, they have lost 400,000. <laughs> I don't even know where they would go. Unorthodox strategy, but we're going to build relations with Mongolian Tanutuva. Because it turns out they've got quite a few guns. And, well, we won't mind a few of those. <laughs> German medium tank division. Desperate times, lads. Tanks in the mountains. All right, the south is actually breaking now. So we need to just reinforce. Evenly divide up the troops. Oh, that's it. Oh, so much XP. P. Oh, level me up, boys. And in the meantime, oh, we need guns so badly. Oh, 2,000 from Tanutuva and Mongolia. Oh, 3,000 guns. Oh, <laughs> Germany, you've given up. Where's your medium tank? I'm curious, how many medium tanks did they lose? 110 medium tanks lost to desert dwelling camel riders. 179 light tanks as well. 
Oof. Ideological loyalty right now generated more manpower than the entire population of my nation. <laughs> Oh, thank you. At last, an ideological army corps spirit that actually is any good. Uh, now I'm showing it's going to get nerfed. I'm sorry. No! There's no legal path! So we can't even get the guns. Oh, that makes me so sad. Ah, low supply. Low supply because we need trains. Trains that we've not invented. You know, before invention of trains, you surely should just let me carry stuff around, right? All right, machine tools. And then we go for the train. It is time for the offensive. Let's go. First part of the plan. Take our core territory here. Off you go. Branch out, push in the north here. Branch out and push in the south here. Don't need to hold the capital anymore. Go! Push! Need to secure the south here because there's an airport. And that's crucially important that we secure the airfields. Go! Okay, we're in a good spot now. So I'm going to concentrate on my firepower in the north. And only six divisions can hold the south. Go, go, go. Staff office plan. Go, 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 go. We need to push the north and secure that port in the north. Oh, the damage. The damage. And just pushing into that port like it's nothing. So, earlier on, I said that militia did something secret you guys weren't aware of. You guys want to know what it is? Well, from a testing, it turns that militia or oh, irregular troops just don't seem to care about supply. So they're in a really low supply situation. Uh, but for the most part, they just don't care. So low supply here. Yeah, no, no penalties. Okay, that guy's got a small penalty, I'll admit. And the reason for that is if you just look at them, they basically use no supply. So these are perfect troops to use in Africa. If you watch my Ethiopia video, which is this one, right? This one, the right top right corner. Can you see that one? Uh, that video, I messed up. I use regular troops in Africa. My advice, use militia. They're way more effective. Oh, this land has been given to Ethiopia. Why? I uh, just don't know why. I don't know why. I guess the game scripted somehow to give this land to Ethiopia once it's been taken off the Italians. Just so annoying, but it is what it is. Boosh! For the firepower. These are irregulars, but they're just so unbelievably well trained. They can just do so much damage. Oh my god, there's so many Italian troops encircled. This is an edition of encirclement porn by Feedback Gaming. Enjoy as the Italian helmet gets thrown into the air. Celebration of the defeated Italians. One by one, they tossed to the air. Encircled defeated another one another one another one done and it's been given to the ethiopians why i don't know but luckily we've gained a lot of land from this i guess i should be thankful what's our contribution that's the big question 49 percent 49 percent wow that's pretty good. Behind on garrisons by 1,000 guns and 63,000 manpower. I'm not disbanding my army to do this. Don't make me. Vichy France will give us guns. Okay. All right. Send the boyos to Africa. Hang on. We are in Africa. More Africa. You're about to see how amazing irregulars are fighting in African territory where the supply is nothing. Three, two, one. No supply. Off you go. Did you just see that? How quickly I broke them. They just don't care about low supply. Is this working as intended? I don't know. Maybe. Like a knife through butter. See, our guys are very seasoned at fighting uh, Italians. <laughs> We've had a lot of experience. Throw the helmets into the air. I just love how the supply is horrendous, but they just don't care. They're just like, you know, Benghazi? Mine. Transport one. Transport two. <laughs> you know where we're going, right? <laughs> Normally one of the hardest ports in the game to take, Tripoli. Uh, but we just walk around them like it's absolutely nothing. Supply, not an issue. Romanians in North Africa. I think this is the decline of the African front. <laughs> the beginning of the end. Right, this is always something AI does this. You always know it's every now and then. The front line will be really thick, ready for an offensive. And every now and then it goes really thin. And right now it's really thin. So we need to make a push and attack. Push, push. Oh, is this an encirclement? Are we going to do this? This is really hard encirclement to hold. So I don't expect much and we go here we go another classic axis encirclement all right two divisions left there now once again just look for your opportunities one medium and oh just rip just rip rip arena rip 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 and i'm so scared to lose that port again i'm gonna leave two divisions behind right there clear them out under new management time for a, a ferry excursion sicily pretty much uh this is uh, the most ambitious project 
for anyone of any African nation, pretty much anywhere. Oh yeah, that's that's a road to be proud of. Ah, construction complete in 1943. Two years. Yeah, that's doable. When I record these videos, different things come up that never come up in the test run. So I went around all the allies and just asked them, can I have convoys, please? Most of them are like just straight up. Nope, nope, not going to happen. Uh, the UK is really annoying too, because for some reason it doesn't think I have the convoy equipment. <laughs> okay, thanks for that. Very nice of you. Uh, and Canada on the other hand, unbelievably generous. Very generous. And I think he's bugged because they've actually sent me too many convoys now and they keep sending them. Not going to complain though. Now we play the waiting game. Took 105 days to plan this. The most ambitious project for all of Africa. And we need to wait for naval supremacy. I've just spotted something. So I was clicking on Ethiopia because I would like to have uh, Eritrea. And of course they say no. I don't want to give that. However, just notice request garrison support is an option. Wow. Okay. Well, that's how you fix your manpower problems. Of all the nations to give me manpower, it would be the Ethiopians. Kind of my natural enemy. Oh, South Africa too. <gasps> 80,000. Oh, and the naval invasion is activated. Oh, God. We're going to get absolutely a obliterated but you know what this is the most ambitious project for africa that has ever happened go 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 my lads fly my pretties meanwhile these boyos getting absolutely annihilated at sea a sacrifice oh the sicily secured mussolini's time is over surprisingly pretty effective even in sicily irregulars the new matter thank you for the landlies hold hold no, things are turning pear-shaped. Never mind. Retreat. Retreat. Hey, listen. That that was pretty ambitious. Again. Okay. Now is the right time to strike. Distraction. Big red distraction. And here we go again. Ding, ding. Round two. I guess the uh, Italians have already lost the control of the Mediterranean. Can we land? Yes, we can. And part two. Progress. Keep going. Push. Looks like we're going to break. And last few divisions broke German tank divisions. Can you even believe it? Can we break across the strait? And it kind of looks like we're doing it. <laughs> I don't think we're going any further from here, lads. Now we need to wait for Italy to shatter. Whoa, I've never seen this before. Vichy France, naval invasion, the south of the UK. What the hell? Historicals turned on. I have never seen that before. Wow. An actual Axis sea lion first. Saving a naval invasion. Successful. Immediately attack. Push. Ideally push to here and then just hold this position. And yes. Italy, your day is unnumbered. Mussolini has been deposed. The Grand Council of Fascism has taken over and uh, Italy is not looking too good. Italy has fractured, occupied Italian territory. We have found ourselves in control of Italian territory, fighting alongside the Italian ally. We could free up more of our forces and direct them elsewhere by handing over this territory to this nation. Transfer it or keep it now. Republican Socialist Italia. Mussolini is back on North Italy. Germans have arrived getting desperate. Oh, and the puppet state is a puppet of our nation. <laughs> I wonder if that continues to the end of the war. Oh no, this is going to make a weird peace conference in my favor, hopefully. All right, time for us to do a push now. And can we do it? This is the encirclement. This is the one. Oh! <laughs> Militia too strong. All right, go aggressive. Just push, push, push. End of Mussolini. Part two, the breakthrough. I don't know what's just happened. This must be something they've sneaked in. But Germany and the Soviet Union have white peace. <laughs> what? I didn't even knew this was even a thing. Well, I mean, there's one less in the peace conference now. There we go. Italy capitulated for the second time in a weird, weird scenario where the Soviet Union is not at war with Germany. Hey, comment below. Tell me what's happened. I don't know. This historical's turned on. Chaos. African invasion of Europe. Berlin. French have sculled their fleet. I don't know why, because they're unified. Does it even make sense? G. This is going to be very interesting. So do I take that? Yeah. I've got my puppet nation here. Uh, do I give back the land of Italy and submit demands? That has resulted in <laughs> chaos. 
pure chaos. So we have the revolutionary democratic union of afar. Oh, so I took this land. Okay, I thought I was giving it to my puppet. Oopsie. Uh, then we have our puppet nation, which is also Italy. I guess we could just give the land to them, I guess. Doesn't give the option to return the land. Okay. And and uh, in Ethiopia, we got nothing. Gee, thanks, allies. What you've got to kind of do is have historical love and then hope that the government in exile for Ethiopia will be like uh, Sweden or Japan or Germany. Because that way, then you get to take the entirety of Ethiopia. Because if they go to the allies, the UK, then you're not going to get anything. The final thing to look at is this. The guns. British guns, Italians, USA, USA. Most of the guns I got sent early game from the Soviet Union, Mongolia, Tana 2. I think I've burnt through those ones already. Chaos. Beautiful chaos. Let's never mention this game again. More content you want? Oh, right here. This is the content you want. Click. Click.